Hello children, let me welcome you to the virtual class of the Brihan Mumbai Mahanagar Palika. My name is Shraddha teacher. Children, we are in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic and because of that we are not able to go to school but that doesn't mean we are going to stop learning. So we are going to do many lessons which are very interesting from your textbook through the virtual class here. So let us do a lesson in English today. Come on children, let's start the next lesson in standard 9th. Subject is English and the name of the lesson is lesson number 4.4 in your English textbooks. And the name of the lesson is my financial career. Now I want you to all open your English textbooks and come to page number 100. So you have this lesson on page number 100. Now as you can see on the screen, along with the name of the standard, the name of the subject and the name of the lesson, you have some other images too. What do these images talk about? They talk about money. Okay, you can see the rupiah symbol over there. So when we talk about financial, it means something which has got to do with money. Okay, now in this particular lesson children, you will talk about, we will see a story which is a little humorous but at the same time there is some kind of truth also in the story which is a sad truth but it is a truth nevertheless so in this particular story we are going to talk about money and many things which are related to money so when I talk about money when I say money what are the different things that come to our mind we think about earning money okay making money People work day and night in order to earn money and then most of the money that they have earned out of which some of the money they save. So when we talk about money, we think about earning money, we think about saving money okay? and most importantly we think about spending this money. So most of us or you are not at the age where you are earning now. But uh, your parents, if you see, or if you see your grandparents, your uncles, your aunts, most of us, they earn money and then they use the money to spend it on so many different things. They buy a house for themselves, they buy a grocery, they buy clothes, they buy watches, etc. And then they also save some of the money in case they're going to need it for future. Now, when we talk about saving money, there is one more thing which comes to our mind and that is a bank. Okay. Now, this entire story of my financial career is set in the bank. So, the bank is the setting or the bank is the background for this story. Now, before we go and see the story, we will always uh, look at certain warming up exercises. So, there is an exercise about how to open an account in the bank and how will you fill in your details. So, before that, let us talk about a bank. So, what is a bank? Now, most of you might have a company, gone to the bank. You might have accompanied your parents while go, they go to the bank. Okay. And when you go to a bank, you tend to observe what is there around you. When you go into any place, the most important thing that you should do as children, you should try and observe what are the things which are happening around you. Okay. So, when you go to a bank, you will see that there are so many counters like this. Okay. Now, in the COVID situation, of course, I will not advise you to go and visit a bank now because we are not supposed to leave our houses unless it is extremely important. So, we will wait for a later date when the pandemic passes. We will try and visit a bank and see what all is happening there. But see, this is an image from a bank now. So, there is not uh, too many people are not there because now they are limiting the number of people who are entering the banks. You will see the people standing in a systematic manner. There are different counters. Okay. People are standing in a queue. Now, what are these people doing in the bank? You will see that the bank also offers you a variety of services. See here, you can see inside the bank a lady is sitting and relaxing. So, they have given her place to sit till her number has come up. And then you will see certain employees in the bank helping people to do their work. 
and there are also some automated teller machines that is the ATM machines from where you can withdraw money so the bank gives you so many different facilities so let us take a closer look at the bank so what do banks do exactly the banks they look after your money so if you happen to deposit your money in the bank the bank will take care of your money and the bank will also see to it that your money grows now is money a plant or an animal that it grows then how does the bank make your money grow we will see it very shortly okay so the first thing that a bank does is it looks after your money and it also makes your money grow then the bank provides loans to you that is in case you want to build a house it is going to take lakhs and lakhs of rupees and most of us we do not have so many lakhs of rupees okay even if we save so we need to take loans so the bank will provide you loans in exchange for some interest and finally the bank will also help you to pay for things so now you know that most of the payments that we make is through the mobile you must not be knowing it your parents might be knowing it okay they make use of google pay they make use of pay phone and then they pay they transfer the money so there is no need for you to go to the bank also if you have the app of the bank on your phone then you can pay also for things using your bank account all right so these are all the things that the bank does for you now i told you, you know the bank makes your money grow how does that happen let us see what the bank does exactly in order to make your money grow so how do these banks work so i told you when you keep your money when you deposit your money into the account that you have okay so you need to have an account with the bank so we will see that also so first let us see how the bank works so you have some amount of money which you are taking and you are giving it to the bank what does the bank do the bank lends that money to businesses and other people okay someone wants a loan so the bank will give your money as a loan to that other person then you will say are how can the bank do that how can the bank give my money away but remember when the other person pays interest to the bank a part of that interest the bank will share with you and some part the bank will keep for itself so that is how your money grows because you have the money there plus they keep on giving you the interest so your money grows okay so this is basically how banks work so in the earlier days the banks used to do just these things it is now that when the banks have gone online that they are providing us with various other facilities also so what was the basic business of banks to keep your money safe to give you loans okay and to make your money grow so this is how banks work now if you want to take benefit of all this that is if you want to make your money grow then you should have an account in the bank just i told you na that you should have an account with this particular bank with any bank so you can have a savings account you can have a you can say another different types of accounts all right uh, some people have business people they have a different kind of account and people who earn salaries we have a different kind of account so you can have savings account you can have current account etc so what will you do if you want to open an account nothing you will have to simply go to the bank and you will have to give them your proof of id that is your identification proof so you can give them a copy of your aadhar card a pan card your passport whatever identification you have the bank will ask for it and then the bank will make you fill certain forms so now this is the form that we are going to look at from the warming up part of our lesson so when you open a savings bank account you need to fill a deposit form or slip now let us take a look at the slip and then you can try to fill this slip up in your textbooks using a pencil okay so now see this you can see on the screen 
So now what all things will you write here? What all can you see here? So you can see the date column. You can see the branch column. So now there are banks. The name of the bank will all already be there on the form. So you have to write which branch. Okay, just like a tree has got branches, a bank also has got branches. Branch means a outlet of the bank is called as a branch. Then you have to write your name there. Then you have to write your account number. Now, when you give the Aadhaar card, when you give your PAN card, the bank will open up an account for you. And once you have the account open, then if you want to remove money, if you want to deposit money, then you will use this kind of a slip. Okay. So now this is the front part of the slip. The face part of the slip. So this is for see depositing money. Someone wants to deposit money. Then they will use this kind of a slip. Alright. Now if you turn the page or if you turn the slip over. You will see that the bank has asked you to enter your contact details that is if there is something wrong with the money that you have deposited nowadays we have counterfeit notes also you have knuckly notes also so in case there is any kind of problem with the note that you have deposited then the bank needs to contact you okay so then the bank will ask for your contact details so what will you write when you're filling in your contact details they've asked for your address they've asked for your telephone number that is if you have a telephone number at your place of work or you can give them your mobile number and also nowadays it is very very important for all of us to create an email address also along with your home address the email address that we have is also extremely important today so children once you go to a bank then you get used to the working of the bank and then you do not feel scared at all of going to a bank Okay, so the first few times that you go to a bank, you might feel a little confused. You might wonder what you're supposed to do. But then as you keep going to the bank again and again, you become used to the process over there. Now in this story that we are going to do today, we have a person who's gone to the bank for the first time. Okay, and then there is a lot of confusion created and he doesn't know how the bank works. And then finally he decides that he never wants to go to a bank again, which is a wrong thing. So your first experience about something may not be pleasant, but that doesn't mean that is not good for you. So it is a very, very good thing for all of us to have a bank account, okay, to deposit whatever extra money we have into the bank because it will inculcate the habit of savings in us. It is very important for us. To earn as well as to spend but it is more important for us to save okay <coughs> so that we will see when we come to the story about why he got confused and why he got discouraged we will go to one more exercise now from your warming up part where we will do a web you can say word web or a web design for a banking so what will we write if we are doing a word web now this is a word web so you have created a kind of a web using words okay so you have to write 12 words related to banking here so i will be giving you six words the other six words you can think and come up with all right pick up a newspaper and read an article about a bank all right open google and find out uh, about banks search for banks and find out what banks are and pick out words from there so let me give you six words here so the first word that i would write for bank is of course money okay so money is the most important word according to me related to a bank then you can also write cash so money may be in the form of cash it may be in the form of a check okay so i write cash here and then i write loan so a loan is also a very very important word related to a bank so here i write loan then profit so when my bank invests my money it earns profit 
when my bank gives my money to other people as loan it earns profit from them okay so profit then you have interest when you keep your money in your bank the bank gives you interest and when you take a loan from the bank the bank charges interest okay then you have branch i told you, you know what is a branch the outlet of a bank is called as a branch we have outlets for mcdonalds we have outlets for other food chains same way we have a branch for a bank now the remaining six i would want you to find out six words related to banking okay it could be any six words of your choice or you can search for it on the net all right so this were the exercises in the warming up part of the lesson now let us go to the lesson and let us try and understand the story which is written by this famous a uh, person okay now he has uh, he is a person who has written a book actually his name is stephen leacock he has written a book and this particular uh, you can say essay or this particular short story or anecdote is a part of that book so now let us talk a little bit more about stephen leacock so this is the person who is a author of this particular piece of work he was born on december 30th 1869 and in england he was educated in canada and in the us and he died at the age of 75 in a place called ontario in canada what work did he used to do he was a humorist humorist means someone who makes people laugh through his writings or his work he also used to write essays he was a person who was a doctorate in economics also he was a professor of economics all right and he used to teach political science and he used to he was very famous for writing humorous fiction fiction means something which is not true something which is an imagination but it is humorous and he was also known as the canadian mark twain now mark twain is a very famous uh, author but he was called as the mark twain of canada now this particular work if you see my financial career it is one of leacock's earliest pieces it appeared in his first published humorous book literary lapses <coughs> so stephen leacock has written a book called literary lapses which was his first published book and you can see here an image of the front page of the book literary lapses by stephen leacock so this particular story is extracted from this particular book called literary lapses okay now in short i will try and explain the story of my financial career to you we will try i will try and use pictures but at the same time i want you to keep your textbook open so you can keep referring to your textbooks also so it is a humorously presented experience of a person in the bank for the first time like i told you now you go anywhere for the first time you will be a little bit you can say nervous okay because you do not know how that place works so my financial career humorously presents a person's first experience in the bank the main theme of the story focuses on the tension and stupid actions which happen in the bank so this person does some very stupid things in the bank there is much fun and laughter when the narrator makes a clown of himself through his words and behavior so he makes fun of his own self through his words and his behavior so it is a way the kind of experience that you have when you go to any place not a bank you go to any place for the first time and you do not know people over there and you do not know the setting of that place all right so let us try to understand what all happens with this person so now lee cock he receives a rise in his salary all right so his salary goes to around 50 dollars a month which is not a very big amount 
now he has 56 dollars with him and now he wants to become a wise citizen and he wants to bank his dollars now bank his dollars means he wants to deposit this money in the bank because like i'm telling you that it is very good to open a dip account in the bank it is very good to get into the habit of saving his teacher or his elders also might have told him that so now he decides that since he has got a rise in his salary and he's got 56 dollars with him so he's going to go to a bank and he is going to deposit the money in the bank so he's a little timid because he doesn't know anything about a bank so somehow he goes into the bank and he asks a clerk if he can see the manager alone now remember children the bank when you go there are many people there are accountants there are clerks who will help you there is no need for you to go and talk to the manager of the bank you need to talk to the manager of a bank if it is something very serious or you have a huge amount of money to be deposited because these people have more responsibility and they are working mo with more important things so for a small minor thing there is no need for you to go and trouble the manager but as i told you our author he did not have any idea of how to conduct himself in the bank so he asks a clerk if i can see the manager and that also alone he wants to see the manager alone okay and in his hand he had the 56 dollars held in a ball that means he did not even have it neatly placed in a pocket but he had a crumpled ball in his pocket the 56 dollars that he had now the manager thinks that the narrator is a millionaire because see he has come separately and he wants to talk to the manager separately he said so the manager tends to think that it must be very important business and he's going to get a very big account to manage and he starts thinking that the narrator is a millionaire of sorts first he wonders whether he is a detective because he must have come to find out some secret about the bank but then when he says when uh, Lee, uh, Leacock says that he's not a detective then he thinks that he's a millionaire that is when the truth comes out and the narrator reveals that he has planned to deposit fifty dollars a month in the bank now that is not a very big i can say amount okay even in those times it was not a very huge amount so that is you should go and see the manager for that now before the narrator tells the manager that he wants to put in fifty dollars the manager thinks that he is a millionaire because he is not a detective okay as soon as these words fall from Leacock's mouth that he wants to deposit fifty dollars a month in the bank the manager becomes very impatient and he directs him to a clerk so in a way he calls out to the accountant and he says mr montgomery and he says this in a very loud and very rude voice this gentleman is opening an account he will deposit 56 dollars and then he says good morning that means you can go from here so see it is a kind of an insult isn't it he could have also told him very uh, nicely very gently that see mr leacock you, your amount is quite less so there is no need for me to uh, get interfere in this matter you can talk to the accountant or you can talk to the clerk he could have told him this in a very very uh, humble manner also but then the manager is a rude person okay now he gets up and he opens the door for he tells him leacock he tells leacock in a way when he says good morning it means you can go now in tension the narrator enters an iron safe and he mistakes it for the door now he gets very tense okay and by mistake instead of going out through the door he gets into a safe now the safe every bank has got a safe where they keep huge amounts of money they keep jewelry etc which people have kept and the manager gets more angry and the manager orders him to come out of the safe he asks him in a way he says come out and he tells him to go out and meet the accountant 
somehow this person leacock he goes to the accountant and he gives him the money all right and the accountant asks him to fill up certain forms so he asks him to write the money amount in a slip and sign his name and he gives it gives the slip as well as the money to the accountant and he deposits 56 dollars in the bank now as soon as he deposits the 56 dollars suddenly leacock doesn't know what to believe, believe and how to behave he wants to withdraw 6 dollars now so he wants to withdraw 6 dollars for his use so he should not have deposited the entire 56 dollars if he wanted 6 dollars isn't it he could have kept the 6 dollars and he could have deposited the 50 dollars but then what he does is now he wants to remove money he takes a check and he writes 56 instead of 6 so see the clerk really asks him are you drawing it all out again because you just deposited 56 dollars you opened an account and now immediately you want to draw all of it again now our leacock realizes that he has made a mistake and there are people also looking at him and he is getting uncomfortable now so he says yes i want to withdraw the whole thing every cent of it and then the clerk says are you not going to deposit any more he said no never i will never deposit any money in your bank so to hide his foolish mistake the narrator pretends that somebody has insulted him in the bank and he has decided to take away all his money back so this is a pretense this is a kind of act when you do something wrong you want others to feel that no i have not done anything wrong that is the way people tend to behave so in the same way leacock is also an ordinary human being like you and me so he also wants to shift the blame to someone else so he pretends that somebody in the bank has insulted him so that is why he is taking all his money away and not doing it by mistake there is so much of fun and laughter when the narrator makes a clown of himself through his words and behavior everybody around starts laughing finally he withdraws the amount he has deposited and leaves the bank in a hurry as the bank echoes the roaring laughter of the clerks so all the clerks as well as the public present there all of them start laughing and enjoying the misfortune of poor mr stephen leacock so imagine this has happened with him he has been to a place for a first time and people have laughed at him people have mocked him made fun of him what do you think will he want to ever go back to that place but you should try to muster up courage and go back okay if it is good for you so leacock's career or journey in finances and banking ends with him willing to care for his own money rather than trusting it to people or to finding a bank so <coughs> what did he promise himself he promised that he will keep his money that is his cash money in his trouser pocket and his silver dollars in a sock but he will never come to a bank Do you think this is a right decision? Of course the author must have got insulted the first time he went to the bank. The people there were not very gracious, but remember if you keep your money in your trouser pocket somebody might steal it. If you keep your dollars in a silver coins in a sock, it might get lost and the money will also not grow. I told you, you know in the bank your money grows. Okay? so this is a wrong decision it is not a wise decision on the author's part but it is his decision nevertheless and it is a fiction it is a story so that is how the story ends but remember it indicates to us the readers how bankers then and even now if you see the bankers are concerned only with the rich people who come to the bank with their money they are not at all concerned with the middle class or the struggling poor people so if you have lakhs and lakhs of rupees and if you go to a bank you will get a lot of respect there but if you are an ordinary person if you are a middle class person if you are from a 
poor background you do not have too much money but even then when you go to a bank you want to put in this good habit not only in those times when lee cock was living but even in today's times you will see that people will not have too much of a value for you they will not uh, give you too much of heed they will not pay too much heed to you so children in this first video that we have done about the lesson my financial career we have seen certain warming up exercises in this lesson as well as we saw the entire story of my financial career that is a kind of a fiction a humorous fiction which is written by stephen leacock which teaches us many different things the first thing is never get deterred or never get discouraged if you have one bad experience with something it is not necessary that you may always have a bad experience okay so when you go to a bank and you have a bad experience do not ever come to the decision that i will never go to a bank again because banking saving money is a good habit all right and we also saw how we should learn when we don't know things we should learn things so that we become more aware and we become better citizens so when we meet next time children we will do the remaining part of this lesson where there are some exercises in vocabulary and some exercises in grammar but this is all for today thank you so much so children wasn't that a very interesting lesson i'm sure you learned a lot of new things in this lesson if you have liked this video please hit the like button and also subscribe to my video so that you will get to see all the videos which i keep posting regularly